happy people i'm back with another video and today i have a collective haul for you all this video was actually filmed sometime last year and i just found it in my archive of old videos and it's a haul from joanne uh five below shein and amazon majority of the items are from shein and amazon and so definitely stay tuned to see what items i hauled and yeah let's get into the video today i have a collective haul for you all okay i got some stuff from a couple of different places uh, but the majority of the stuff is going to be from amazon and shein and so i just want to hop right on into this and show you all what i picked up i am going to start off with my amazon nail supply haul i want to give a huge shout out to a fellow youtuber i was actually the winner of her giveaway and i just want to give a shout out to you beautiful um darling d nails if you all have not checked out her channel you definitely should she does a lot of hauls and reviews and she sprinkles in a couple of nails tutorials here and there and so yeah y'all she is she's a beast with the hauls okay so I found her channel and I just really enjoyed kind of sitting back and just watching all of her content so thank you so much for picking me as the winner of your giveaway I'm going to link her channel and her Instagram link down in the description box below so you guys should definitely go check her out show her some love show her some support yeah I won a $20 a $25 Amazon gift card from her so I did put that $25 to use um, and bought some more nail supplies so that I can help get my nail room organized. Y'all know that is what I have been working on thus far. So I'm going to show you all what I picked up from Amazon. The first thing that I picked up here is these sheets here. So I was needing a way to organize all of my small nail stickers. And I didn't like um, the fact that a sticker, let me show you all, a sticker like this for instance, right? I didn't like the fact that when I put it in my photo album, it was just a lot of wasted space. So I went ahead and purchased this right here. And I think this is like a business card holder or either baseball card holder. And so I think this came with a total of 240 slots or it could have been more. I can't remember. I have to look. But yeah, this is what it looks like here. It is nine to a page. And so you can do front and back. Um, I'm going to show you all how I actually started designing it already. So I went ahead and I put like a white like index card in here. And I just went ahead and put stickers in the front and on the back. So it just holds so much, you know. So I'm able to get... Is it not 18 stickers on one sheet? So yeah, y'all, this is how I am using this item, but I wanted to show you all that I hauled it and that it came with a ton of these sheets, like a lot of them. So as I get more stickers, that size in my collection, I can just pull out a sheet and keep my little collection growing. And I do store all of these stickers in a nail binder. I mean, in a um, just a regular three ring binder. So I got this from Amazon. I did find these stickers here. I found these on sale for like $3 on Amazon. So let me show you all what these look like. I think they were like three dollars and some change and so i thought these were cool especially for how many you get you get one two three four five six uh, packs of stickers and normally on shein i pay like a dollar for one sheet of stickers so i thought this was a good steal but i really like the designs on these you guys they kind of remind me of like tattoo nail art but it has like different cats lions tigers bees butterflies like i just thought it was different you know and then it has like the you know a strip down here that has different designs on it so i just thought that was really cool this one again has like the lion head and the tiger head on it i just thought these were cool though butterfly more cats even some birds on there okay and then this one here has roses cats snakes and bees okay so yeah these are just really cute really pretty okay and then this is actually one of the main reasons I got it. I like the fact that it had a leopard on there. And just the detailing of these stickers just look really nice. Like it looks kind of hand drawn almost. Um, this one looks just as cool. Like, yeah, y'all, I just, you know, I want to play around with some different nail looks. And so I want to have like a variety of different things. 
And these are just like some more flowers and such. Just really pretty. Overall, really liking this a lot. So yeah, I thought this was a really good deal. I am going to leave um, it linked down in the description box in case you all want to check them out too. But yeah, I'm starting to find more deals on Amazon. So as I find them, I will make sure I bring them to you all. The next thing that I got from Amazon here, this was a recommendation from a nail sister. Um, shout out to you, Nails by Nelly. So y'all, if y'all haven't checked her out, go check her out too. She be slaying and whipping them poly gel into shape every single time I watch her videos. And I told her, I was just like, how do you do it? And so she made a detailed tutorial about how she does it. And she recommended these brushes for poly gel application. And so I picked these up. And the cool thing about it is that they also come with some really cool line art brushes here. I actually want to take a closer look at these what they're talking about and this was like under ten dollars i think the brushes were like seven or eight bucks they were really inexpensive and you get a lot of them so let's see wow these are pretty these are pretty detailed okay i'm impressed with that actually you all see how fine that bristle is on there that's going to be really good for nail art this kind of reminds me of the young nails uh, micro detailer brush so that's that's pretty cool that's a good find here okay so we have those and then these are the ones that she recommended for the poly gel this is the reason I ever even got this kit and so I guess because it has like a flat top to it then it's supposed to be good for poly gel so for getting around you know the back area especially like really trying to smooth out like that cuticle area for poly gel nails so that's why she recommended that so that's why i got it here so yeah i'm happy to have these brushes because y'all i'm trying to get like her okay i'm trying to whip whip and slay my poly gel into place too okay but i think that's everything that i got from amazon i do have items from just like like one or two items from random places so i picked up this from my local walmart i thought this was really cute it was on clearance for like a dollar and 25 cents so I was like, this would be nice if I wanted to have it like on my desk, display my makeup brushes. Let me see if I can get it open here. I thought this was really cute. Um, and I thought it would be cool if I wanted to maybe display like my dip powder brushes or even my makeup brushes. So how do I do this? Oh, maybe I should have opened it from the bottom. <laughs> so let's open it from the bottom here. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, this is how it comes, you guys. But isn't this just so cute? You know, for a dollar and 25 cents, this would be cute to just like kind of have on the desk for a cute little display. So, I thought that was cool. I just got this for the nail room just to add a little decor, a little pizzazz, make it look cute. So, I picked this up. Like, again, again like I said, I got this at Walmart on clearance for a um, dollar and 25 cents. But I also feel like two of the brushes that I have. I can use them for like ombre the nails. I can use them for dip powder application to dust off. And then these look cute. Y'all see the gold trimming and the clear handle? Like these look a little luxe though. So we gonna be bougie on a budget, okay? Bougie on a budget, okay? So I really like those a lot. Also from Walmart, I did find some press on nails. I have these from Impress. These are a Kiss brand um, of press on nails. These already have the adhesive on the back so it says no glue needed. I absolutely love these press on nails, you guys. I do have a, a really old video on my channel of me showing how to apply these. I'll likely go ahead and do an updated video of these because I do have a press on nail series going on on my channel right now so I'm gonna leave that in the description. But yeah, um, I really like these a lot. Um, they last for up to two weeks and y'all don't need any glue. So I always keep these in like a travel bag I found these on sale for three bucks, so I went ahead and picked them up. Plus, they are in my favorite color. How cute. Last thing that I picked up from Walmart is these reclosable bags. I think they have them at Dollar Tree, but I hadn't found them there. So I went ahead and grabbed them at Walmart when I saw them. I think they were under two bucks, and it comes with 100. So these are good for, you know, storing glitters. Uh, maybe if you're, you know, sending gifts out or, you know, if you want to pot some things. Um... I know some people use them to store their foils. So a lot of different uses for this. So I went ahead and picked it up and I have it here in my nail room. I did stop by Ikea 
um, I went to Ikea with my friend. So y'all don't judge me. I've actually never been to Ikea before and that was my first time going. And so yeah, she showed me around. I actually went there because I was wanting to try and get some Alex drawers and I saw them in person and I just wasn't impressed with them to be honest with you. I know everybody and their mama on here on YouTube use Alex drawers for like their makeup collections and their nail collections and things like that. But they just didn't really fit the vibe that I was really wanting to have in my nail room. So yeah, I did not get them, but I did find some storage containers. So I have these right here. I guess I'll go ahead and pop it open here because it says that it's, I believe it's stackable. So let's open this up. So the cool thing I like about these containers, right, is that it has a lid that flips open and close, right? So I can easily store something in here and then close the lid for protection and then they also stack so because this has this it can stack on top of each other and not move around so fast so yeah i thought these were really cool i'm not sure exactly what i'm going to put in them but i know i'll find some use for them in my nail space so i picked up these i actually they were like three dollars and some change they were like less than four dollars so i think i picked up like three packs of these so i have plenty of these to like store stuff in i also think this would be really perfect for storage inside of my wardrobe so you all saw from my nail room tour that um i don't actually have drawers for space and so and i don't think i plan on getting them um like i said i went and checked out the ikea ones and i don't think that's going to fit what i'm looking for for my nail room so i'm going to just work what i have with my wardrobe and find storage solutions for that so i picked these up i also picked up some um what are these? These are called cable dots. I picked these up from Five Below. I think they were only $3 and I love this. I have these here to actually store my cables. So you all know we have a lot of lamps and uh, drills and different things that have cords that we keep on our nail desk. So I wanted to just kind of keep the cords out the way but still um, easy but still within reach. And so I picked these up and they have been working out wonderfully. I've only used one so far and I'll see if I can maybe take a picture and insert it um, or you'll just see it in my updated nail room tour. But yeah, these are really nice to have for keeping your core keeping your cables out the way but also still within reach so got that from five below and the other thing that i picked up before i get into the Shein haul is something from joann's now y'all again don't judge me i have never been to joann's before but my friend she knows i'm into nails and she's been you know giving me different suggestions of places to go for different props and organization and so she recommended we go to joann and y'all i finally got my hands on an item i've been trying to get for a little minute now so let me show y'all yes yes sis i did it I did it y'all. I went and I got the fur back round. Yes. So I have been looking for one of these for a long time. I've been eyeballing uh, quite a few of them on Amazon and I just felt like for the price you really wasn't getting much at all. You guys this thing is huge. I'm going to zoom out just so that you can see. Yeah I'm going to zoom all the way out here so this isn't even covering so this is like covering not even like my whole desk and this is it folded two times like so it's this big this long and it's still folded in half so this is like a huge piece of fabric fur that i got for only like i think i paid 30 dollars for this which is a really good deal because the ones that i saw on um, amazon was like 15 dollars for like a little small circle so this i plan to cut up and yeah have it for my nelfies y'all like don't this look plush doesn't this look cute don't it look beautiful yo my Nelfie game and my reels and my, my TikTok, we, we, we taking it to the next level. I'm too hype about this, absolutely love this. And then the other thing that I picked up from Joanne um, is this scarf. So I thought this was really pretty. Um, I was looking for a scarf just really to have for Nelfies. Like, so when I do my nail photos, I my palm of my hand is always exposed. I don't really mind that. I know a lot of people think that it kind of takes away from how the like the nail photos look but I don't really mind it but I also want to just like I said step my game up with it too so I went ahead and got this one I really loved it because it's multicolored. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out again sorry you guys I want y'all to get the full effect of it here 
So yeah, this is what it looks like. It's really pretty and I was drawn to this because it has all the different colors on it. So depending on what nail design I do and what colors I use, I can have a different silk to match that. So for instance, um, on this hand, I have kind of this uh, coral color. So this would be kind of an appropriate way to use the scarf. Let me go ahead and zoom back in for you guys. Okay, so this could be like a way that I can use it to take like nail fees and things like that. You know, just have, you know, the fabric just kind of out in the background. And then if I wanted to, I can kind of do poses and take pictures with it this way, you know. And then on this hand, you see I got green and like some silver. So I can come on here and find the green one, right? Like so. And then I can use it to take nail fees like that so y'all get the idea here so yeah i really got it just to st just to step my nelfy game up y'all like yes like i'm trying to come with the heat this year okay so i really like these two items that i picked up i thought they were such a great deal so like i said check out joann's if you all are looking for like different type of silk scarves if you all are looking for like a really nice fur background you know you definitely get more bang for your buck when you buy it in bulk so even if i like i said i have this i'm gonna fold it up here but it's I have plenty of fur for days right so whenever it gets dirty or in between and if I need to maybe have have like props if I'm you know out and about and want to do some photos maybe outside and things like that you know I have plenty I have plenty of it to use so that's what I got from Joann's and then really quick I did pick up some items from Dollar Tree so I got some 50% isopropyl alcohol so cleaning your um, nail art brushes with 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol that it destroys them quicker so it's better to use 50% so I had switched over to using 90% and now I'm going back to the 50 just to make sure I salvage my brushes so I have this also picked up the 70% one because I know that for 60% up it's more so used as a disinfectant so I have this and I'm going to keep these exclusively in my nail room because I was using the alcohol that we have for the house and I'm just like let me just get some specifically for my nail room so I have these in my nail room I also picked up another photo album. Um, this is what I used to store my nail stickers in. I just thought this one was cute. It says, be your own beautiful. So I like the design on that. So I have that. And then I picked up some Tough Plus all-purpose cleaning wipes so I actually have never seen this at my Dollar Tree before but it came with 160 wipes and it says it can be used on the car it can be used in the home it can be used on your hands um, for oil grease paint glue food stains I just thought that was pretty cool so I'm gonna have this and I'm gonna keep it in my nail room so that I can clean off my nail desk um, whenever I am done filming also picked up some more nail tips these are some nail tips that I found fit perfectly in my um, silicone practice hand I'm going to be starting to do more tutorials using my silicone practice hand so I'm just stocking up on different nail tips so I don't run out anytime soon and this was actually a recommendation from Amo Love so I'm also going to link her down below but yeah these are good to have and then I also just picked up some regular um, packing tape I just needed some more not necessarily from a nail room but <laughs> I have it for the house on to the goodies y'all so now I'm going to show you all everything that I got from Shein okay like I said y'all I'm trying to step up my Nelfi game this year okay my Nelfi game my real game and these are some items that um, I saw on Tia Bella Beauty's channel okay Tia made me buy this okay so I'm gonna hit the ground running on this one so I bought a lot of these silk um, pieces from Shein which actually so the silk piece I just showed you all that I haul from Joann's I didn't discover that until after I had already placed my order on Shein and so yeah likely moving forward I probably won't buy these from Shein I'll probably just get them from my local Joann craft store but I am happy to have them so this is just a silk scarf um let me see I'm gonna take out all right so I'm gonna take out this white color here and show you all the demo of it but yeah essentially she used it to um for her nail fees and such like when she's doing videos, like when she's doing videos or displaying different products, um, this is what she likes to have. And actually, this is a pretty good size though. Okay, I'm not mad at this. This is pretty big though. And I think I paid a couple of bucks for it, but this is cool for if you like wanna do nail fees or say like if you wanna like display some products or such, you know, you can have them out like this. 
you know so it's just it's just kind of a cool prop and a nice little background nice little backdrop for when you want to like display products and or do nail fees with so i picked up this silk scarf i got in this white color here so not only is it good for like background shots and such like that but it's also good for again y'all the nail fee game okay you see how that kind of elevates the the, the nail feed to like the next level, makes it look a little lush, you know, a little plush. So, yeah, I really thought that was a cool tip that she showed. She showed this a while ago, you guys, and I'm just now getting on to it because I'm trying to step my nail feed game up. OK, so I got it in this white color. I also picked it up in this kind of beige color here. I got them in pink and then I also got it in a black. So I have quite a few to play around with. OK. And let me actually, let me open up this beige one too and show you guys how that looks. Really nice. Look at that, y'all. Y'all ain't telling me this doesn't add a luxurious feel and look to your items, right? Like, so let me show you even further. I actually just did a Madame Glam review. So the set that I have on, on over here is I use some Madame Glam gel polishes. I just did a review from them. And then over here I use GH Dib. So actually I will leave these designs linked in the description if you guys want to check them out. But these are the polishes that I use for the set, right? So say if I wanted to, right, I can go in and just kind of set these up like this. Ooh, my hair all in the way. And then take a photo. But look look how nice and plush that look though. Y'all see? Yeah. I'm putting y'all on game right now. That right there, hot, hot. I love that. Let me actually take a picture of that. Hold on when we're thinking about it. Okay, Tia, so thank you so much for this tip, girl, because you were on to something with this. So yes, I am loving this. It really just takes it to the next level. I, I, I see now, I see. Well, here's the pink one. Okay. Again, you can just kind of like have it like that, right? And then if you want to, you can do like some Nelfies with it. Like, yeah, this is really nice. I really, I like this hack. That's pretty cool. And this is the black one here okay so yeah depending on the the set you have on or whatnot like I really like this these are some good backdrops though I really like this a lot and then it's perfect too because sometimes I try to take Nelfies at my desk and I have like products and stuff in the background so I could just drape this little silk piece over it and still take the photo and do what I need to do yeah, y'all, this is good. Okay, thanks again, Tia. That's such a great tip. Okay, I love that. So next, she also talked about having these leg warmers, okay? So let me just open this up here. This was also a great hack. So she showed using leg warmers as a way to make it look like you have a sleeve on. So you just put your hands right on through here. And then look, y'all. It looked like you have a whole sweater on. Like, let's go. Like, and then you could take a cute little nail feet. Okay, hold on now. So if I wanted to, like I can put this little, this beige background up, okay? Okay, y'all, we gonna, we, gonna, we gonna make it do what it do. I can put the beige background up with my little sweater hand. And you see how it just elevates everything to the next level, right? Yeah, I really like this. Okay, yes, this is an awesome hack. All right, y'all just saw me do a little Nelfi situation there while I was filming, but I really like this hack a lot, y'all. Like, she, that was that was sharing some really good game there. I think, again, thank you so much, Tia. So I got the, the leg warmers in, like, this beautiful kind of, um, is this khaki? Like, kind of a brownish khaki color here. I got it in black, and I also got it in like this off-white color and I just want to show you all what that looks like okay so this is what that looks like over here actually let's do it this way yeah so y'all see this like you just see how it just it looks cute and lush and plush this is so genius okay so yeah these are the leg warmers from Shein I, I just love that that's such a great hack thank you for that tip and then the last thing that I got, I got this specifically for when I am using my practice hand. I wanted my practice hand to be a little dolled up too. So I went ahead and got a pillow because I noticed that when I got my silicone practice hand, I didn't really have a stand or anything to put it on. So I got this pillow from Shein. Let me show you guys. 
I did get it in pink and I do like it. Oh, it's nice and soft, okay. And I do like it because you can zip it off and wash it when you need to, so that's really helpful. And so, yeah, y'all, I have the nail stand here, so likely when I do videos, it'll just kind of be back here. And then here is my practice hand. I'm just gonna show you all what she looks like on here. And yeah, ain't that cute? You look like somebody getting their nails done. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna be low-key a nail tech in here, okay? And then even too, just thinking about the props that I just got, right? Like say if you want the hand to look a little bit more realistic, you can even put your practice hand in here and take photos, you know what I mean? Like this can kind of make it look a little bit more realistic. You can add some rings to it, add the cute little background. I mean, I'm just loving this little hack here, okay? You wanna add this to it like so. You know, so when you're doing nelfies for your silicone practice hand, you know what I mean? Y'all see? Y'all see what I'm doing here? Y'all see the vision? So, yeah, so many options with this stuff. Um, so many different ways you can use it and play around with it. But I primarily I got this for just something to rest my practice hand on as I am working on it. So, yeah, I am loving everything that I got. Okay, so I did also pick up some new swatch sticks. They had coffin swatch sticks on Shein. So I picked up some of those. And I'm excited to have some coffin shape um, swatch sticks because when I do my acrylic because when I swatch my acrylics, I like to swatch them on like the top of the swatch stick. I normally use stiletto swatch sticks similar to this. And I like to swatch them on top of the swatch stick so that I can practice my acrylic application. And so I like the fact that these are coffin shaped because now I can practice my acrylic application um, for coffin shaped nails. But I think these are really beautiful. I like them a lot. So I think I'll probably pick up a few more of these, but these were super inexpensive. And I think they came in a pack of 50. So I picked up two packs of these, okay? And then y'all know a nail haul for me would not be complete if there isn't a little bit of charms or a little bit of bling to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all some charms that I picked up. So the first few items I picked up are these little like paper cutouts. I think these are really cute. So this one here is actually some playing cards. I'm gonna go ahead and just take all these out of the bag here. So these are actually just some paper cutouts. So these here in particular are actually females, okay? So that's what these look like. So there's like playing cards and pearls and different sequins in here. I think that's really pretty. Um, I actually, wow, this female is pretty thick though. Y'all see how thick that is? I don't know if I want that sticking up off my nail, but it's cute though. I think they just sliced that one too thick because this wasn't this one isn't that thick. Right? So yeah, I got like a little playing card. I think that's really cute, you know. If you wanted to do some card nails or something. Okay. So that's what that looks like. Where'd it go? Oh, it fell off. Okay. So that's what that looks like. Okay. Yeah, I think that's really cute. And then we also have like these little peppermints, the multicolored peppermints though. So I thought those would be cute if you wanted to, you know, maybe have like peppermint nails in the spring or summertime. This past Christmas, um, with I saw some peppermint females and I wanted to do like some peppermint milk bath nails. And I didn't get a chance to do it during the holiday season. So maybe I'll try to do it during the summer or springtime with these cute little peppermint females. So let me know if you all want to see a look um, or a tutorial or something like that. Also picked up these beautiful like pink flower cutouts. I think these are just so adorable. But yeah, I haven't had a chance to play around with these yet, but I just think they're so cute and they're gonna be so easy to encapsulate. So it's really just a piece of paper, like a little paper cutout. Yeah, I think that's adorable. So I have these. Okay, and that's how that looks. Right, super cute, super cute, love it. Also picked up it in some beautiful springtime colors because y'all know it is spring and summer. So I just thought these were super cute. Let me show you what one of these look like on the nail. Let's see, so like this. Yeah, I just think it's super cute, you know? So I'm gonna be, like I said, I got my practice hand, I got the props and everything. So we gonna be doing some more nail designs, y'all. I did pick up a couple of charms as well. So I did pick up some of these. I thought these were cute. They kind of remind me of like vintage, like 
pictures or paintings. But yeah, it's like one per. And yeah, they came in different colors. Pink, red, turquoise blue. And I just thought it was really cute. So let me see. I really do not like these little pinwheel thingies, but I just want to take one out and kind of get an idea of what it might look like on the nail. I'm going to try this one here to see, you know, it's something that might go along with the set that I have on. But how cute, y'all see how cute this is. Wow, y'all yeah, like that. Yeah, that's really, really nice. And there's a really beautiful curve to it. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. Yeah, she ain't be coming through with the charms, y'all. They really do. So I don't have anything like this in my collection. So, you know, I just wanted to step outside my comfort zone, try something new, and I think I'm gonna love these a lot. Also found some more frames, y'all. So with these frames, I thought it'd be pretty cool. Um, even just to kind of create what I see here, right? With the frame, you can um, put inside of it like different types of um, diamonds. You can maybe put some mylar flakes on the inside of it. Um, you can just put like a random color on the inside, but look how luxe it makes the nails look. Like I think that is really cute. So I picked these up, picked up some of these charms. I thought these were absolutely beautiful. These are a little heart that says love on it. So let me open these up and show you guys. Like y'all know I love Shein and her charms. Like they are just so amazing. So these charms are gorgeous, you guys. Like take a look at these. Okay. That diamond is beautiful and it has a great curve to it. So let me show you all what that would look like on the nail. Isn't that gorge? Oh my goodness. So beautiful. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. So I picked these up. Also picked up some of these I thought these were really cute you know again just wanted to have some more options as far as nail art is concerned charms and such I just really love the look of she is nail art like it is just so nice and y'all see the back again has that nice curve to it so with this give you an all example of what that looks like on the nail look how beautiful yeah, that's really nice. And then even if you wanted to, fits well on shorter nails. But yeah, I just love the detailing of that. You know, you see they got the diamonds all in through the frame and such. Like that's just, it's really beautiful. I love me a good charm, okay? So I picked these up and I love these so much. I did go ahead and get them in silver because, you know, I feel like sometimes when I get charms off of Shein and I get them in gold, I, when I try to go back to get them in silver, they don't have them. So I'm going to try to start if I see something I like right off the bat to go ahead and get them in the colors that I like. So I'm going to flip a few of these over. And y'all, the curves on these are just perfect for nail art. So that's what these look like. Aren't these gorgeous, y'all? Do y'all see the shine? Man, I'm going to have so much fun playing around with these. Like, I'm just so excited right now. So yeah, let me show you all what this would look like on the nail. Yes. Do y'all do y'all see this? Even 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 just let's throw it into the set. Look at look. Look at this. Just too beautiful. Y'all, I just love the charms from Shein. I just can't get enough of it. So, I have that. And then I just have a few more items here. I was really excited to find these. I have not seen anybody haul these, uh, but these are some beautiful emerald green uh charms. I don't have anything green in my collection, right? So I figure it would make sense to get these. These only came with five though. So yeah, but look, oops. But yeah, look how beautiful these are, you guys. Holy smokes. Yeah, now that's beautiful, okay? This is beautiful. Look at how stunning these are. Like, these have so much depth and dimension inside of that crystal. The only thing with these, though, is that it doesn't look like the curve is that deep on the nail, I mean, on the charm, but that is all right by me. We can still make it work, okay? So look at the, like, look at the detailing of this. It has a heart on one side. Um, it has, like, just some trimming on the other but y'all this is so freaking stunning like i am in love with this charm wow and again i don't have anything like this in my in my collection um i don't have really green any charms so i saw this i was like i have to have it but it's the detailing on here for me they even got rhinestones along the edge here 
And then like I said, that heart, like this is a really beautiful charm. Like I really like this a lot. This is making a statement, okay? Have this on your nails when you go out. This is a statement piece right here. So I'm excited to put that to use y'all. So I picked that up. And then the very last thing that I got in this haul, I know it's kind of a long one, but it's definitely a good one, y'all. This I saw from Blue Rose Nails. So Blue Rose Nails made me buy this. Um, and thank you for sending me the link to this because I, when I saw it on your channel, I was like, I have to have that. It's so beautiful. And so this is a cute little plate here, you guys. So this can be used for a variety of different things, but isn't this just adorable? Okay, I absolutely love this. So she was using it on her channel. She was using it to like display charms and stuff during her hauls. So, you know, she'd hold it up. Oops. She'd hold it up on the plate like this. So um, I, I like it for that, you know, for that reason. This can also be used to hold nail tips. So when I'm getting ready to film, I normally pre-prep and lay all of my nail tips out. So if I wanted to just kind of have them all laid out here, on the plate ready to go you know you can use it for that reason you can use it to take pictures of press on nails if you all have like a press on nail business um, and then also you can literally just use it for like nail art which is probably going to be the way that I use it the most um, just put like different you know gel polishes in here and then have my liner brushes um, and do it that way but I just thought this was the cutest thing this is what I currently use right now which I absolutely love and adore I got this from Amazon and I can link it below but um, I like this a lot and I still will use it but I noticed that sometimes I want to also oh okay so another way you can use it is to go ahead and have your rhinestones um, kind of lined up how you want to apply them to the nail and so sometimes I want to use this plate for multiple things at once so if I'm planning a set and I want to have my tips laid out I want to have my rhinestones laid out and maybe I want to do some nail art this plate just isn't big enough to do all of that so I wanted to get a second one so that I can have a little bit more room to work on so yeah y'all but ain't this just the cutest though I absolutely love this like it is so adorable and then it has this felt stuff on the back so it doesn't slip and slide around on your desk this was a really good buy all right you guys so I hope you enjoyed this haul this was a long one but definitely a good one uh, it included items from a variety of different stores and I'm just wanting to give a huge shout out to everybody that I mentioned in the video because you all had some great items that you all hauled on your channel so I was happy I was able to get them as well um, because those were some great tips tricks and hacks that you all shared so yeah I hope you all enjoyed this video let me know what your favorite item was that I hauled from all the locations like let me know which one was your favorite in this video because I have like too many favorites I can't even pick one I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday Thursdays in particular on my nail therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and yeah if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family I'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video I hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye